Hello and welcome to my channel, Ask Anastasia. Thank you for being here and I just want to show with you today some information. I'm getting phone calls from my clients and I used to be, I'm still a realtor. I have been a realtor since 2010, but I'm not actively selling any real estate. But I'm still getting phone calls from my ex-clients and they were just asking me this question, should I buy a house now? And I, I, I just decided to make a video about it and share some thoughts, some facts. I don't want to give any advice. I'm sure we all, you all guys, intelligent, you know, and smart, make your own decision. I'm just going to show you some facts and my opinion, and then you can make a decision. So you can just Google it, you know, should you buy a house now? And then you can see, you know six factor to consider, whatever, it's so many predictions, everything else. I gonna show you my thoughts and again I'm coming back to this Zillow.com. This is a website that it's free and you can see a lot of information right here. Um, my thoughts it's to buy real estate. I don't know one person personally that regret buying it. And what I want to show you today, it's my theory that in California, especially Los Angeles, uh, real estate is doubling every 10 years. So let's say if you bought a house today for 300,000, my theory is in 10 years, it's going to be 600,000. And in another 10 years, it's going to be 1,000, uh, I'm sorry, 1.2 million. And I believe that, uh, you know, buying a house changed my life and I hope it's going to help you too. So let's start. What I'm doing, I'm going to Zillow.com and I'm entering an address here. And I prepare some information so it's going to be easier for you. But let's see, this is a house that I want to take a look at. You go to public view. And you can see the house. You can see some picture of the house right here. If you click, I'm going to show you pictures. This is my uh, client house. We bought it about 10 years ago. It's two bedroom, one bathroom, very small, cute house in a nice neighborhood. And what I want to show to you is that the estimate is a uh, value of the house that Zillow, this website, seeing is right now. So the estimate is 541 and where we are going, we are going right here. We are opening price and tax history and you can see all the information. Like you see this house was sold in 95. Probably it was earlier information, but Zillow doesn't have it, but we're just going to go based on this one. So what I did, I opened um, this Stretch it to make it easier and we're gonna start it from here. This is the first house. What I did, I just copy from Zillow.com, whatever information we have. I just copied this so it's gonna be easier for us. And this is the address, whatever I copy from Zillow. So my theory is if it was sold in 95 or 68,000, in 10 years, price will double. So let's add 10 years, 2005, price should be 136. In 2015, 10 years from there, price should be 272. And we are five years from 2015 right now in 2000. And Zillow thinks that value of this house is 541. And this client, they bought a house after market crash. In 2010, if you remember, and they bought it in 2011. So, how do you think they feel? You know, paying 200 for this house, and you know, nine years later, they have an equity of 350,000. Do you think they're happy? Let's take another one. 
we are looking at this one. This one is for sale right now. It's in West Hills, California for bedroom to bathroom. We don't have a lot of history. We just see that it was sold in 2017. Probably they leave there, I'm sorry, 1999 for 217. And they live there for 20 years. And uh, just to show you, if we're gonna go to mortgage calculator, just Google it, mortgage calculator. And they bought it for, I'm sorry, they bought it for 217,000. So if we're gonna go to mortgage calculator, 217. And I don't know what interest rate, let's put eight. I don't care. So their monthly payment was $1,500 per month. How much you can rent a house right now in West Hills, California? I bet it's more than 1500 So for 20 years, they live there, pay their mortgage. You know, probably it's mostly paid off. And right now, they put it for sale for 729 So based on my theory, this is a house bought for 217 So I'm starting from 217 10 years later. Time two, it's 432, and plus 10 years, it's 864. Usually in the higher end houses, it's not working, as I told you, double, 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 but uh, it's pretty close, you know, and from what I know, prices right now start dropping in California. I'm not in Los Angeles right now. I'm not active in real estate, so I'm not sure, but uh, okay, it's 100,000 difference, but how do they feel paying 200 and putting almost half a million in their pocket in 20 years? Let's look at the other one. This was also one of my clients. It's higher end home. And it shows that value right now it's $1.1 $1 million. And we're going to go down. We're going to see the history. They bought it in 1994 for 280. So I'm doing it the same thing. This is a property. They bought it in 94 for 280. So 1994, double in 10 years, double in 10 years. So we are five years from here. And value right now, it's about the same. So it's didn't, it's, it, it, it's, we cannot see double, 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 but I mean, it's pretty good in my opinion. <laughs> Pay 280 and the gain calculator, mortgage calculator. If we're gonna go here, they pay 280. 280. If their mortgage was at 8%, I don't care. You know, let's put 5%, it's 1500 even if it was 8%, $2,000. Did you see the house, how beautiful it is? It was an amazing neighborhood. It was beautiful house with a pool and, and, you know, amazing patio and all this. I mean, would you pay $2,000 being living in this kind of house? I would. Let's try another one. This one, it's in West Hills. And Zillow say it's 730. It's four bedroom, three bathroom. And here, we don't see a lot of information. Look like they just bought it and they live there. And I just picked the properties. So 1995, 152, we are coming back to what I pick here. And this is a property. Zillow right now shows 790. Am I right? Yep, 790. And they bought it for 152. So in 1995, it was 152. And I believe there was an earthquake in California in 1994. And they bought it probably after earthquake. That's why it's a good price. But right, you see, like double, double. 10 years later, it's 304. 10 years later, it's 608, and right now it's plus another 200,000. Okay, we are not quite double, but 
I mean, I feel pretty good about it. One more example. And this is um, something different that I want to talk about. I don't know if your guys would be interested, but if you are, please leave me a comment. I was thinking about making a video just to show the difference between buying a condo or a townhouse and single family house. Single family house, it's freestanding, like you don't have nobody above you or next to you. Um, but I, I just gonna show you this condo. It's two bedroom, two bathroom. It's in Canoga Park. This is a neighborhood that I'm familiar with. And uh, we are gonna go down. Zillow shows two. 84 and this is their price and tax history so it was sold in 89 for 68,000 and then they sold it for two, in 2018 for 263 and right now it's 284 so in this last two years it just grew about $20,000 but um, if they are coming back again just to look at the pictures. Oh, I put a note. Not always working. I am just showing you the facts. I just want you to make your own conclusions. It's just some information to think about. You know, I, I know that so many people are holding on buying it or scared or not sure. Uh, let's get back to it. I need to do another video. So this it's two bedroom, two bathroom. Right now it's about two hundred eighty thousand, and they bought it for sixty eight. So in eight sixty eight times two one thirty six two seventy two, and by my calculation right now it's supposed to be five forty two, but it's not. So it didn't double, but how do you think they fell? 89 till 2009, 30 years, they live in this place and they were paying, where is our calculator, mortgage calculator, 68,000. We're paying $500 per month for their condo and they live there for 30 years and guess what they got at the end? 263,000 when they sold it. <coughs> so it's your decision, whatever you decide, but should you be buying a house during this time? Nobody knows what's gonna happen. If I have this bowl that I can look at and tell you by now it's gonna grow, I would be doing very, very well. But my general opinion, if you can get a mortgage, buy. I would probably hold for six months to one year just to see what will happen with prices, but we always can at least start the process. Because usually people, when they decide to buy a house, what they do, they call the realtor and say, I want to see the houses. That's not the right thing. You have to follow some steps, and I just put it here. Step number one, check your credit. If you have a problem with the credit, it's so many companies that can help you and you can do it yourself. It's not hard. It's a lot of information involved. After, if your score is like 620, you're ready. But to get the best mortgage, you need at least 720. Second, you need to find a good loan officer. It's more important than finding real estate agent. It's, it's really easy. Again, I need to do another video. If you're interested, let me know. I would do it. And then you have to, you know, to look for how. Oh, and this is a uh, saying that I really like. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. How long will you wait? Go for it. Guys, I... Really appreciate.